The NFL has reached a partnership with the XFL, which is absolutely crazy to think. The headline over at ESPN was XFL to be, quote, Petri dish for football innovation prospect development as part of partnership agreement with the NFL. This is kind of crazy to me. Basically, they're not going to be, uh, they're not going to be an amateur league for the NFL, right? Because they're going to have to sign their own contracts. They're going to have to do their own stuff, etc. But basically, what uh, what Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and Redbird Capital Partners have set up is they are going to. Um, how do I explain it? They the innovations that the XFL is going to bring into their television broadcasts, et cetera, the things that they are going to do with the rules, the different ways that they are going to do kickoffs, et cetera, that can be taken over to the NFL. And I think it's a good idea for the NFL. It doesn't take a lot to have a, a partnership with, you know, which a lot of people might assume that this would be a fly-by-night league because a lot of the spring leagues have been. The USFL, of course, is getting started next year. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, well, it, it, USFL starting in April. Excuse me. There's a lot of different opportunities here for the NFL to continue to improve their product and use it use the XFL basically as a testing ground. And I think it's a genius idea. You know, a lot of these different methods, a lot of these different ideas can be presented with an XFL crowd. And if people like it enough, which the NFL has done with, uh, done this with multiple multiple leagues in the past. Uh, if they like it enough, they can bring it into their own. So if the NFL comes up with an idea and they want the XFL to try it, they can then bring it to the XFL, get them to test it out. If it works, they can implement it into their own season, etc. I think this works. I think this absolutely works. Uh, the XFL built its 2020 version as a reimagined brand of football and has plans to continue that approach, making the XFL what Garcia said would be a natural partner for the NFL. This, uh, I'm a fan of this. I am a fan of this, absolutely, because I like the different ideas that go into this. I like having a testing ground for it. And if the NFL were to bring some of these rule change ideas or these broadcast change ideas to college football, I think college football might tell them to shove it. That's what I think. So I think that we are going to roll with this, and I I like it. Uh, In a statement released by the XFL, uh, the XFL has shown that innovation is one of its core principles. We are hopeful that this relationship will support further development and improvements in the game of football at all levels. I like it. I like it. I like those two having a relationship with each other. They will no longer be uh, opponents. They'll no longer be uh, fighting against each other for television eyes. It's basically not necessarily a proving ground, but... Uh, Just a a testing ground, we'll say. A testing ground for a lot of different things. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.